starting with front facing camera shooting 4k 30 fps on both this is the quality i have to say that a54 is a little bit more natural the skin tones are also better my red's a bit too red on a 34 in my opinion but let's switch to 1080p now it's great because uh, a54 can do 60 fps sadly this isn't available on a34 and also i can see on 1080p a34 is a bit more cropped in i'm not if you can see that but again i prefer colors on a54 stabilization uh, i think they're both doing a pretty good job but let's take some selfies now So let's start with ultra wide angle and you can see the a54 viewing angle is better you're going to get a lot more in the frame this is stabilization now sadly you can see that a54 is struggling because stabilization isn't available on 4k so i have to switch to 1080p in order to get that stabilization working so i'm going to do this now now you can see the difference shame you know because ideally we want to use the highest resolution possible but if it's not stable there's not really point really what do you think i like the dynamic range on both of them right so now main sensor 4k 30 fps on both let me know what you think about them is it actually worth spending that extra hundred pounds to get a 54 well, we're gonna find out because i will be making uh, some night photography pictures and some video quality stabilization etc so make sure you stick around till the end this is times two and we can go all the way up to 10 on both i have picked auto framing on uh, i think pretty new features that i haven't seen before and it's available on both of these devices so basically it should keep you right in the frame i cannot see myself because i'm using the main sensor so you let me know if it's doing a good job but i'm going to take more pictures now super steady on with that optical image stabilization this is only 1080p well let me know which one is actually more stable by the way if you are enjoying this my video please subscribe to my channel because i buy all devices for my own money so i would really appreciate that i'm hoping uh, to get to a hundred thousand subscribers uh, but i will not be able to do this without your help guys cheers this is pro video mode just to show you really the quality uh, when you're inside the house when the lighting isn't as great but what do you think about those phones so far which one is actually better which one do you prefer okay i'm going to take some macro shots now because this five megapixel uh, cameras are doing a pretty good job in my opinion check this out So 
selfie camera 4k 30 fps I have to say there is a pretty bright night uh, and I don't really see much difference to be honest but please let me know what do you think uh, and I'm gonna take some pictures now when you take selfies at night especially when it's very very dark you got to be happy about A34 because when you take the picture it brightens up using the um, extra light. I mean, check this out. Pretty cool. But let me know which one do you prefer. Okay, so this is Ultra Arango. What do you think? I can see that uh, a54 is a little bit wider well let's switch to the main sensor now now I can clearly see the difference okay times two wow surprisingly they both doing a pretty good job. What do you think? Which one do you prefer so far? Okay, so this is 1080p 60fps, but I can see that A34 has better dynamic range. Look at the logo on the pop. You cannot really read this on a54 it's literally blown out but I can see that um, a34 is doing a pretty good job I have to say guys, I'm so impressed about Galaxy A34. I was not expecting this phone to do as well. And I absolutely love the matte finish. You know, it's still got 120 Hertz, beautiful AMOLED display. Yes, there's not as much performance and on A54 that I'm uh, currently using, but for 100 pounds cheaper, I think I would pick that one. Yes, the selfie camera is still struggling with dynamic range. But hopefully this is something that is going to be improved in some future software update because this is a uh, you know quite new quite new age device. Uh, my choice is honestly A34. If you don't care that much about selfies, you're going to be really happy about that. Make sure you watch a camera review that I've made of A54. I put it up here. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>